the caudal tympani nerve is given off from the facial as it passes downwards behind the tympanic cavity about 6 mm from the stylomastoid foramen it turns upwards and forwards in a canal and enters the tympanic cavity through an aperture and this is called the ita cordae posterius this is located on its posterior wall close to the medial surface of the posterior border of the tympanic membrane and on a level with the upper end of the menubrium of the malleus the corda then traverses the tympanic cavity between the fibrous and mucous layers of the tympanic membrane crosses the menubrium of the malleus and emerges from the cavity through a foramen situated at the inner end of the petrotympanic fissure and this is named the ita cordae anterior also called the canal of hugua h u g u i e r the corda then descends between the pterygoides externus and internus on the medial surface of the spina angularis of the sphenoid which it sometimes grooves and joins at an acute angle the posterior border of the lingual nerve the corda receives a few efferent fibers from the motor root these enter the submaxillary ganglion and through it are distributed to the submaxillary and sublingual glands the majority of its fibers are efferent and are continued onward through the muscular substance of the tongue to the mucous membrane covering its anterior two thirds they constitute the nerve of taste for this portion of the tongue and before uniting with the lingual nerve the corda tympani is joined by a small branch from the otic ganglion the corda tympani nerve